Every year, the World Economic Forum publishes the Global Continuous Report. And every year, we take a deep dive into the performance of a couple of countries. And this year, we decided to focus on Indonesia. Uh, the reason is that uh, the World Economic Forum on East Asia will be held in Jakarta in June. And also because obviously Indonesia is one of the largest developing countries in the world. Uh, it's ex uh, growing extremely fast um, and everybody predicts a bright future for the country. So the reason is that the idea is to try to see if indeed it's the case and whether Indonesia can sustain its growth momentum. Overall, Indonesia does quite well in terms of competitiveness. Uh, however, the devil is in the details and we see that the performance of Indonesia across the 12 categories of the index is quite uneven. Uh, so if you look at the bright side, we can mention the macroeconomic situation. We can mention um, the large market size with a huge uh, pool of potential consumers as well as a growing middle class. We can also uh, mention the, the primary education, both the access and the quality are uh, improving. Now, if you turn to the, to the, the area of, of relative weaknesses, um, infrastructure is one area of major concern. Um, transport infrastructure, energy infrastructure uh, need to be upgraded. There, need, there is a need for more infrastructure as the country continues to, to grow. Another area of concern is the inefficiency of the labor markets. Um, and also the public health situation. Uh, there are some alarming uh, trends in this area in terms of burden of disease, um, uh, malnutrition, uh, infant mortality. So these are areas of, 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 um, that, that need some, some urgent action. But overall, we're quite confident that the government is aware of the, the situation and of the shortcomings and that is, it's prepared and well equipped to, to tackle these challenges and we hope that this report will help guide them in doing this work.